Okay, today I have uh, an Atari 1050 uh, disk drive, floppy disk drive, and I got this one from eBay. Apparently, doesn't work. Okay, so let's see what happens when it turns on. Hold on. Okay. See, uh, when I crank it up, both lights light up, and this and the drive light keeps uh, turning on and off. You can hear like noise inside of it, like one of the motors is spinning. Let me see if I turn it on the computer. It just says ready, but uh, let me try to put disk in. Put the DOS disk in. It shouldn't be doing that. Spinning like that. You see it's making you hear that noise. Okay. Let me shut it off. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Find out what's going on. Six screws. There's two in the, all the way in the front. Takes out the front, removes the front plate. And the four removes the bottom case. On the bottom. There's four in the going on on this one. Okay, put these screws right here so they don't get lost. So. Okay. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. The cover, nice and white. It still has the that sticker on it. Let's boogie. Now, let's just give it power and see what is going on when I turn it on. See what's, let me try to zoom it in a little bit. Let's see what's going on when I power it up. When you when you turn these the hard drive on, this should be moving. It should move up and down like mm -hmm. like that. That's what it usually does. It goes up down, like it sets itself to zero, to track zero. This motor sounds like it's stuck or broken or something. Something's wrong there. So you know what I'm gonna do. A look at the bottom. Okay, you can see the band, the rubber band is here, but this this is for the other gear. Yeah. Let me see. Try to. Yeah, it feels like it's stuck. Can't even budge it. I don't want to force it. It's definitely stuck. Something stuck there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do disconnect that. I'm going to disconnect the cables here. Let me make sure. Let me take a picture of the orientation of the cables so I don't mix anything up here. Photo camera. Don't go crazy later on. 
There's another. There's about five cables on that side, one on the other side. And there's one under here. front my fingers all right that's the motherboard there let me shut off the computer hold on let me have a quick look at the at the motherboard some reason this motor here seems to be stuck okay I could try to swap the motor with another one but because I have another drive that's bad and I have I have it right here on the side and I have that one open already so I was working on that one so this one I believe that the head is bad I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but you see how I can push this? I can move it. I can't do it on this one. It seems to be stuck. But I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to try to, re <laughs> to remove this motor here. See if I take, there's a screw there. I don't know if this is gonna come right out. And then there's two screws on the bottom. I don't know if this, how this, you know, if this is like aligned or something and I'm just gonna just align the whole thing. Let me see. This one says stepping motor. The other one. This one says stepping motor. Tandem number two. Let me compare the cables. Let me see if I can get this this one out. I'm not 100 percent sure. You know what? I'm not 100 percent sure if I can get that this motor out. I mean, I'm gonna look at that one, but I'm gonna try this one first because I don't want to mess that one up, mess anything up. This one, I could mess this one up. I don't care too much about this one. Let me get some tweezers so I can have a look at what's going on here. I don't know how this exactly works, but I know that that pushes it in and out. how this comes out either but I'm gonna try to take off these screws on the bottom hoping that there's nothing like aligned in a way that I can't put it back I'm not 100% sure But yeah, it seems like the other motor's jammed. All right, here's the motor. Seems a little loose here. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta be very careful what I'm doing here. And it appears to look like I'm not doing the right thing. Gotta get my glasses, hold on. Okay, got my glasses. 
when I pulled it down, this is actually this motor is actually connected to the this these this little there's like a cable there. So when I pulled it down. Question is, how am I gonna get this out? Here it is. It's connected there. I'm about destroying this. Yes, yeah, connected to this like springy thing. See this little needle. It looks like I pulled it out of place there. No. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out, but um, let's try this again. It's got this clip back here, and there's another clip in the front that's connected to this, but. How would I get that out? I'm not destroying anything. This is attached to this. I don't like the way. You know, I might have to pull it to detach that. show you this has like a cable there that's wrapped around the motor and it is it's attached to the sensor so I'm not sure if I can pull pull it apart or I completely destroy anything Flashlight. Don't know what a flashlight is. I'm gonna have to use my phone. I don't wanna go crazy looking all over the place for it. Well, I could try to use this magnifying glass. Is a, a lock here that will release that on that side. Okay, if I release that, so what if I did that? Okay, so I used the, the needle nose pl pliers and, and pulled this part here, pulled it out, and it released it. There's a spring there as well, so they released it and it uncoiled itself off the motor there. I hope I can put this back. Hope I can put this back. Let's see if it drops the motor. Yes. Okay, the motor is out. This is the motor. I 
Let's see. This is the motor. Now. So. Let me feel it. Alright, see it? Motors on this one moves freely. Now the thing is like, I told me to yank the other one and do it to that one. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm afraid to do it. Because I got to figure out how this thing goes back. I know that that portion, that screw holds it down. would go there and it goes around okay let's try it I really don't like let me try to move it out of the other one now the problem with this is this is jammed how am I gonna how am I gonna move it hmm Alright, I'm not going to loosen it from the bottom first, but I'm going to try to release this clip here from, from the top. Like a crazy maniac. Okay. I released it like a crazy maniac. Okay. So I see how it goes. I released it from there like a savage beast. Let me take a, a picture of it before I screw this up. Take a photo of it of what I just what I'm looking at. Took three photos. Alright. I unclipped this from there. Now, see, the motor is stuck. I just released it. Hold on, let me see what, what, what's stuck. I'm trying to figure out what's jammed. Is it this that's jammed? Let me lift this up. It seems like the motor is what's jammed here. Yep. All right. So that screws in the. It's in an awkward position, and the motor is jammed. So I have to get to the screw. See, this thing is blocking it. This metal frame here is preventing me from reaching that screw. How am I going to get that screw? If I loosen this, doesn't mean that this that the motor is going to take these two screws out. How am I gonna get this out? I can't. There's no way I, I can position this screwdriver there with this jam like that. This is, that motor is completely jammed. It won't even budge. So how am I gonna get the screw out? Like this? I don't know if, I'm, if it's even turning. This light is not that good. flashlight here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out that way. Highly doubt it. I would have to move this plate here. Oh, but it's got one, two, three, four, wow, five probably. Gotta get it out and then some other how some other way.
Okay, okay, I'm, lo I'm loosening it. All right, good, good, good. That's a good, that's a good sign right there. It's loosening. I'm just gripping it with the, with the pliers and then turning it really hard. Let me just bring this down. So, um, yeah, I'm turning it like that just to get the screw out. Once I get the screw out, then I can take out the bottom screws. Is out. Get it out without messing anything up here. All right, now I gotta get the bottom screws out carefully. Get the bottom screws out carefully. screw that was gonna fall now the motor's loose all right got the motor out this is the motor it is solidly jammed in there this motor is bad it is completely jammed there is no movement in here Maybe I'll try to open it and play around just to see. But it's, it's solidly jammed. There's no no movement. It's got a bad motor. See, compared to this one, it moves around. Okay, I just noticed that this one has like a weight on top. I guess that's to to balance it. So I'm gonna put it in like that with the weight. That's so exactly how I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna put this one back. The one that's loose and free. screw this to hold it up right there. I'm not going to tighten it just in case I got to make any adjustments. I don't know. Okay. So I put I put it there. Put it let me put it a little more tighter. A little bit loose. Too loose. Okay, now, motor's in, now I just got to reconnect that piece, that's going to be kind of hard to do, without messing this little spring, this little springy thing up, you see that, the little coil there, See that? Let me point that out. See that little hole there? Hold up. Let me show you. It's a little hole there. That hole has to align with with the hole on the here, like that. And then I put that other screw in it. That's that's gonna hold that uh, cable with the motor. 
that's what's going to pull it back and forth. But first thing first, first things first, I have to get this, <laughs> this part of the cable back in that. Back in there. Oh yeah, okay. So oh yeah, so it did. It actually, see, it did free it up. You see that? It moves and it's free. It's free. It did free it up. So it was the it was the um, motor that definitely was holding it back. I just gotta get this clip. This is gonna be real fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun to get this clip in there. I don't know how they did it, but first things first. You know what? First things first. What I should do is connect the smaller one. I mean, connect the motor to that cable. That's what I should do. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to connect the motor to that pulling cable. See, this one was a little different because this cable here had this little balancer thingy here. Should I just put the other one? Yeah, I think I'm going to put the other one, the other screw, since this one had that. I got to get the screw out of there. So I'm just going to put the original one that was on there already. All right. I got it in the hole. I didn't tighten it up because I want to keep it loose. So this is gonna be the hard part to get that clip. Close the spring up like this. Oh yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how, if I can pull this. There is a spring there. There's a spring there that I have to close in. Should I pull this all the way up? Yeah, I'm gonna pull this all the way up here. Make my life easier. You see how this little clip, this little clip right here has to hook on to latch on to that. And I gotta close it in while pushing the spring downward. Not an easy task. And then hook that in there. Woo! Something might go flying. Something just might go flying. My hands are sweating. That's gonna be easy. not going to be easy at all. This is not going to be easy. Let me get another one of those uh, curved pliers, curved, I mean, tweezers. It's not going to be an easy task. 
Mm. You know what I need? I need a like a hook tool. Let me go get one. get this see if it works with this one of these hooks because I gotta hook it this way to pull it closed because there's a spring a spring loaded so in order for me to close it in over that hook. Ooh, it's gonna be hard. I got it. Woo! I got it on there. Now let me move it down. So I can tighten it. I got it in. Ooh, that wasn't easy. Now let me tighten this here. Let me tighten it. See, I got it. That's, that was not easy. Now let me tighten this up here. Alright, so that's it. This should move like it's supposed to back forth. Alright, so you see that? Now, woo, had me sweating there. Like something could just go flying and forget about it. It's gone. Now I'm gonna connect this, connect all these cables back. Alright, let's see if this. Let's see what it does. I don't know 100%. If this is going to work or what. built these cables you got to know where they go because one of the middle cable has to go backwards I look at the picture, see? That's why exactly why. Just wanna be sure. Yeah, ten, then fourteen. Ten. Then fourteen. There you go. All done. Now that's all done. Let's, let's see how it works. Power. Connect this to the computer. Doesn't mean that's gonna work. Oh, 
okay. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. See that? The light is off. The light is off now. And it moves up and down like it's supposed to. See that? Let me show it to you. That's what it's supposed to do. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. No. I mean, we fixed that problem. The jammed motor problem. Now, let's see if if this works. It reloads this disc. This DOS disc. Um, I'll turn this on first. And just let it run. All right. Yeah, that's that's exactly what's supposed to do. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Does the same boot error. Okay. Let's try to clean the head. Seems like it's operating. Just not reading. It's just not reading. clean it up. Let's try cleaning the head. Let's try cleaning the head. Give me one of these. Little... Let's try cleaning the head. So far so good. It's just uh, it's not reading. Some, alcohol, some isopropyl alcohol. Clean this head. I clean around here too. Okay. Let's see. Again, that was one. If not, I'll try a different disc. Ready? Let me let it just do the checks first. There you go. Let's see. Hmm. Still giving me boot error. Bobby. Like it's not loading, which is a pretty good sign there, but it's like if the head is not reading. All right, we'll try a different disc. Okay, I'm gonna try a different disc. It's like it's not reading. Sounds weird. Oh, okay. It's loading. It's loading this 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 not the DOS disk. It didn't load the DOS disk. Oh yeah. It's loading, baby. It's loading this game, uh, the game, but not the DOS disk for some reason. I don't know why. But it sounds a little funny. I think this might have a little rust there or something. And that, but I'm going to spray it down. Maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't reading the dust disc because I know that the dust is new because of the fact that I just sprayed it. Maybe it had to dry up a little bit. All right, so it works. This is making a little bit of noise over here. This piece here. So that piece is making a little bit of noise there. What can I do for that? I can put a little bit of lithium grease. You know what? I'm afraid to spray that. I'm afraid to spray it. 
but they might get all over the place. Give me another one of these. I'll spray it to here. Could try to remove this clip and then clean it up. Could try. I'm gonna put some lithium grease on the tracks. off. I could take it off, but there's a little clip there. Don't want to lose that clip. Let's try it. Let's try the disc again. Since it loaded that, let's try the DOS disc again. This should work with the DOS disc. Alright, sounds better. Did I put that grease there? For some reason it's not reading this DOS disk. Don't know why. Bad DOS disk. But anyway. shut it off. So I that off. Do it again. Hold on. I had to like wiggle it a little bit. Alright guys, so the drive is working. I just probably had to let it dry off a little bit. I tried the, the, the dose disc and it works. It loads up. Okay, so also, let me zoom out. Also, I opened up that motor. It opens up from the back. It's like, it has this uh, plate here, which was like glued on. So I, I wanted to see what was inside, you know, what, what the damage was, you know, what the problem was. I, I took the plate off, it's very sticky in the back of it. And if you look carefully, let me see if I can point it with this. This, this around here is a magnet. The magnet has two cracks in it. There's a crack right here, and there's a crack on the other side. So... So that must be sticking to the sides or whatever, caught, uh, preventing the the, uh, the motor from spinning. It's jammed. But there's two magnets. There's, I mean, there's one whole round magnet, but it's, it's cracked on two sides. You can see a crack right there. And there's another crack. If I push it, you can see the other crack. There's another crack up over here. I'm going to try to take this magnet out. But it's broken. So basically that's pretty much it. It was uh this is called a stepping motor. Stepping motor was was magnet the insides, internals was was uh, bad. So that's it for the video guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later on the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching.